Hey guys, I want to talk about our first kind of societal tendency when something tends to go wrong with our health. So let's say for example, you go to the doctor for your annual checkup and it, you find out that you have high cholesterol. Um, you've got these high cholesterol levels, you don't know much about cholesterol, but your doctor says, hey, we need to bring those levels down, they're out of range, let's put you on a statin. So a statin is just a cholesterol lowering drug. So instead of looking at the lifestyle that we're leading or our lifestyle habits, we tend to kind of jump straight to a band-aid approach. Um, not something that's not, not asking the question, Hey, why are my cholesterol levels up there? But, um, let's just, you know, use a drug to lower them. Uh, and, and not shift any of those lifestyle factors that probably led to uh, those high cholesterol levels to begin with. So I like to kind of grab all that low hanging fruit first. And then if we need, say, a drug like a statin, then we can move to something like that. But I, in my opinion, the first step should be, let's take a look at our nutrition. How are we sleeping? And are we moving enough? So that just makes sense to kind of you know, remedy those things first or take a look at those things first as opposed to jumping straight to a drug like a statin that's going to have side effects and not to mention it's, it's a band-aid approach. So we're not um, looking at, you know, why did we cut our knee and we put a band-aid on it, but, um, you know, let's stop cutting our knee to begin with or, or what's causing the cut as opposed to, hey, let's just you know, throw a bandage over it and, um, and, and cover it up basically. So that's something to think about. I mean, and it, it crosses over, it goes kind of with anything. If you have, you know, high blood pressure, uh, let's do some blood pressure medication, but you know, why do you have high blood pressure to begin with? And are there lifestyle factors that we can shift first as opposed to jumping uh, straight to that drug. So those three, again, those three main lifestyle factors, the nutrition, sleep, movement, and then I'd also throw stress management in there too. So just something to think about um, as far as, you know, a lifestyle approach and something more maintainable as opposed to, you know, hopping on the, on the kind of drug train right away. So um, anyways, if you have any questions about that below or post them below and uh, thanks for watching the video. See ya.